you know what you should do. You should follow me on Twitter at Brahma018. Link in the description. Do it now. Hello guys, welcome back to another FIFA 21 Custom Tactics video, the series where I show you how to recreate um, and adapt real life systems in game so that they will work in FIFA 21. Today, one that has been relatively well suggested in recent times, we're taking a look at Antonio Conte's Chelsea tactics, in particular the 3 4 3 system that he quite quickly switched to after that um, well remembered and renowned defeat against Arsenal at the Emirates. Um, he quickly went back to what he knows best and it worked out very well for them winning the league title and then um, the FA Cup as well. Uh, so before we do get into this, first thing I want to say is very quickly, uh, for those of you who aren't subscribed to my second channel, do go and check that out because I've just released a video on there doing my England squad for the upcoming Euro 2020 slash 2021 um, tournament. I'm expecting lots of people to disagree with my um, my selections, but that's okay. Please do go and check that out if you uh, haven't done so already, as I, I would really appreciate that and give the channel a subscribe as well. So moving on to this Today, if you're new here, what we do is first off, um, I will show you the formation that we play because we usually make a couple of position changes and then we'll go into the tactics and I'll sort of talk about uh, what they are but also why they do that and then we'll finish off with the player instructions and as I go through the player instructions for each position, I will also suggest suitable players for you to sign if you're playing career mode, um, that will be on the right hand side. So first things first, the actual formation itself. Um, it's obviously a free for free, but we have to do a little bit of uh, sort of tampering here. So what I did is I went for the free five two, the one where you see the cam and the two strikers. Um, and then what I did is I moved the two strikers out to left and right wing. And then I move the cam up to uh, striker. Just find the one that's similar for you. Make sure you've got the system where these two are defensive midfielders. That's very, very important. You don't want them to be central midfield. You want them to be defensive midfield. That's very important. Uh, you might also be thinking, for anyone who's new, why we've got the wing-backs playing as right and left midfield instead of wing-back. Well, what you'll find is that if they're playing as in the midfield role rather than a wing back they'll get further forward and it's very important to note that this Antonio Conte system is very much a proper free back it's not a Tim Pot Gareth Southgate free back where it's actually a five back this is a proper free back and how I sort of distinguish between the two is is that particularly when you're in possession the wing backs will get forward very high at the pitch in fact sometimes they'll be on the last man um, they'll be very far forward in those high advanced positions and that's the best way to replicate that is by having them as midfield don't worry about them not being in with the defensive line they will bed back in uh, the game actually does a very good job in this case of realizing that there's no fullbacks behind so what they'll do is when you're off the ball if you've got them on comeback on defense which we'll get into in the instructions um, they will then bed back in with the back line and form a back five when you need to so it's very very handy indeed something that works out very well um, so like I say, we've got all the positions really um, nailed down. Now we can move into the tactics. And first off, we've got the defensive style. And we've got drop back here. What you'll know with an Ant Antonio Conte system is that it is very much defense, defensively orientated, I think is the best way to put it. But it's different to a Mourinho because of the way they play in possession. They will still look to play out from the back, and we'll come on to that shortly. Um, and occasionally, maybe more the inter Milan system that he's currently got, they will counter press a bit more. But in this system, generally, you've got more of that mid block, um, which we can look at here as well. You see the depth is on five, that's very much slap bang in the middle, and you've got that mid defensive block. It's not too passive, you can still meet the opposition midway through the pitch, which is handy. Um, but like I say, it will be on generally drop back off of that protection. With defensive width, we have this on three. Now, sometimes in other three back systems, we have generally gone four or five because because there's there's three central defenders and there's more players in the narrow central positions. You can have this a bit wider, but with a Conti system, it's very much forced them out wide as much as possible, leave no gaps in in the middle for them to play through. Always try and force them out wide at at any cost, basically. Um, so we have this on three, and it's it's a bit more a bit more narrow for you to uh, to employ 
So moving on to offensively, possession, we've just alluded to it. What they'll do generally is they will actually play out from the back. Um, which is particularly handy these days. This wasn't a rule at the time, but now you can get players coming into your own box on the goal kick. That really does play well into, into the hands of the system. There is also an emphasis on counter-attack, but we'll do that with the uh, player instructions individually. In the tactics, we'll go possession. Uh, then with the width, we have this all the way up to eight. So as we've just alluded to, you've got more of a, a narrow system in terms of the fact that um, you've got three centre backs, and then you've got the the wing backs as well, who in this case are wide midfielders. So you can be you can be very wide here, and that's what we've gone for. We've gone for eight on the width bar. You can switch the play often, um, particularly if it feeds into the to the wing backs and how you want them pretty much on the touchline as much as possible. Um, with players in the box, this is on six, so that we've only got three in the box. Um, then you've really got the front three. You don't want the fullbacks or or the central defensive midfielders getting into the box really, um, because you're going to lose that shape. And Conti's very big on retaining that shape as much as possible, regardless of the phase of play um, that the game's in. So we have this on six, and it will mean just the front three really getting into the box. Finally, with corners and free kicks, we always have this on four. That means that you'll have two men back, um, one man on the edge of the box, and then more men in the box for you know to be actual targets to provide those targets and it just gives you a little bit more threat you'll see on the right hand side we do score from a corner so it is very very handy um it's also handy having david louise marking olivier Giroud as well so do pair that one in mind so that's it for the tactics um like i say any questions do be sure to uh, to get at me uh, in the comment section now we'll move on to the player instructions we'll start off with the keeper in mendy and we'll work our way through the field um so first things first comes for crosses and sweeper keeper now it's less likely that you're going to need him to be a sweeper keeper because naturally they're playing a mid block rather than a high block and they're not pressing as much if at all in some cases so this will be less needed and i don't think we really needed to use it once in game but it's there as an extra layer of protection as he comes for crosses um, they can be more pass more aggressive less passive um, and as a result just release a little bit of pressure on you in certain situations when you might need it most coming on to the three center backs now one thing i do want to mention is tiago silva here is playing the central defender role um, and that would have been David Luiz. Now, David Luiz was that real sweeper. He would often bring the ball out from defence, look to spray passes, look to instigate um, attacks. Because naturally, in front of him, you've got Kante and Kovacic. In that situation, it would have been Kante and, and Matic. Um, and so, they're obviously more defensive-minded. Whereas, you know, David Luiz in that situation would have been the one who would, as I say, bring the ball out from defence. He would be that sort of central pivot and the one to instigate attacks. Now, I've got Thiago Silva here because Chelsea don't really have that sort of player at centre-back. You know, they don't really have that that defender who who can do that role. Um, but had I had of uh, a, a more like-minded and, and suitable player for that position, you would have seen me really going through him a little bit more, trying to play out with him and, and come out from the back, bring the ball, um, you know, with the possession. So do bear that in mind. Uh, you want someone who's going to be uh, very good on the ball um, and very capable of sort of bringing the centre back, um, bring the ball out from centre back. Someone like Frankie de Jong would be a very, very good option. Uh, we'll make sure that's on the suitable players. So next, um, I suppose we could look at the wing backs next, as they're I guess essentially part of the defence. So they both got the same same instructions. In this case, it's Chilwell and and James. Back then, it would have been Victor Moses and uh, Marcus Alonso, um, such as the trademark that Antonio Conte could put anyone at wing back and they'd look like a, a world class player. You know, he could put Nicholas Bentner at wing back and he'd end up looking absolutely world class. Just one of those things, isn't it? So, as I say, they do have the same instructions. First off, stay wide. As we mentioned in the tactic section, you want these pretty much on the touchline, as wide as possible, creating all the width. That is where they're going to do their. They're most damaged. They're going to get themselves into as much space as possible to create crosses and crossing situations. 
Um, now with support runs, we have this on getting behind. And again, it's something that I sort of alluded to and I can build on here earlier in the video is um, a lot of the time you'll see them almost on the last man because they're legitimate wing backs and that's what they, they do in a, in a very effective free back system and particularly in a Conti system is they'll get really far at the pitch. And this is the best way that you can replicate that. You really want them into those sort of um, more forward areas and positions um, so that they can pick up the ball and be more aggressive and less passive. And the system overall becomes less passive because you've got more of an outlet to get the ball forward as much as possible. As well as that, you've also got emphasis on counter-attack because they're going to be trying to run down the touchline more with this getting behind instruction. Um, you'll see you've got more movement when uh, you're looking to, to hit things on the counter. So that's how we have an emphasis on counter-attack whilst having possession in the um, tactic screen. Uh, with support on crosses, stay on the edge of the box. As we said earlier, we don't want them getting into the box of crosses. You want to retain your shape as much as possible and keep that protection um, against any opposition counter-attacks. Um, and that's it really. Same with Reese James as well. So they are the uh, instructions and the roles for those positions next up we have the two center defensive midfielders and again these two have the same instructions first off defensive behavior cut passing lanes man mark just doesn't work on this game unfortunately and this is where as we talk about we try and adapt the system slightly um, so that it will work in game and this is one of those situations where um, you know, like I say, man mark doesn't work. They will never follow midfield runners into the box and they'll never really pick up on that. So the best thing to do is just to cut passing lanes and you can try and cut them off at the source essentially rather than um, trying to man mark in a, in a system that just doesn't really work. With attacking support, stay about while attacking. As we alluded to, these are providing protection. They're defensive midfielders, Kante and, and Matic in that case or Kovacic in this case. So you're really looking at them to do their role well um, and to do their role as effectively and like-mindedly as possible you know we don't really want Kante being that box to box midfielder it's something that he seems to be doing more under the likes of Sari and, and Lampard that's just not what his, what his strengths are you know you play to his strengths and I think Conte definitely got the best out of him um, you know in terms of his role um, and then with defensive position, cover wing as well. As we say, sometimes these guys, Chilwell, James, etc., will be looking to get forward um, and running behind, etc., and get far forward as possible. So these guys are there to filter in, you know, to uh, to look out for that as much as possible. You don't really want the centre backs to be drifting out wide and creating as much space, um, you know, as as possible in those situations. You want them to really stay rigid and, and within their they're back free and these guys in front of them should really be doing all the work and looking to protect them uh, as much as possible uh, so next we can go on to the front three first off we'll start with i think we'll start with hakim ziesh so the front three in this case would have been pedro on the right and hazard on the left and then um, diego costa up top um, so first things first with ziesh playing the pedro role one, you want him on comeback on defence, and he should really be tracking the opposition fullback as much as possible. The system will generally become a 5-4-1 out of possession, and that's really what Conte systems always do. Like we say, there is that emphasis on defence. It is a, a relatively defensive system. He wants to protect his, his team and, um, and his back line as much as possible. So these will be tracking back at all times. And then with chance creation, we have him on cut inside. Naturally, the wingbacks are creating the whip, so he can pick up those positions in the central areas as much as possible. And that's very, very handy, uh, particularly when you've got two defensive midfielders, because then you really want someone to be picking up the space in the middle between Giroud and Werner and Ziyech and then the midfield. So you've got your, your two wingers, essentially, or, or false wingers, really picking up those central positions. With support runs, we have this on balance. So we don't always want him coming short and picking up those those, uh, those little advanced pockets of spaces. Sometimes we want him to, to run him behind. So we balanced, you've got that nice variation between the two. Uh, and then support on crosses, get into the box for crosses as well. Uh, so with Werner, who's playing the, the Hazard role in this case, it is a little bit different. We still have him on comeback on defence, but this time with chance creation, he's on free roam. And Conte did a really good job of recognising that you know Hazard, such a talented player, he can play that role and it suits him you know, perfectly, pretty much. Um, and that is him sort of roaming around the pitch, really. He'll pick up lots of bits of space. 
um, as you'll see with the goal he scores in this game um, he actually drifts over closer to the right hand side it's in between the middle and the right uh, and then runs in behind um, on top of that and gets his goal similar with support runs as well as we spoke about with Pedro again sometimes he'll get in behind and he'll provide that emphasis on a counter attack and sometimes he'll come short because again it's Eden Hazard or in this case Werner and you want to get them on the ball because they're talented players and they're good with the ball at their feet they're technical players so you want to try and get them on the ball as much as possible as well as utilizing that that pace and that movement in behind and again support on crosses get into the box for the cross as well finally with Olivier Giroud first off support runs stay central um, now obviously he's a target man he's the focal point not only are you looking for goals but also you're looking for him to to play the likes of, of Ziyech and Werner in behind and to play for players to, to play off him essentially um, and you can work that in with target man as well he's very much going to try and hold up the ball when he can use his strength his aggression in this case it would have been Diego Costa who's obviously a, a very aggressive and strong player and you can build off him and play off him that way um, and with defensive support stay forward as well again he's going to be the out ball and he's going to be the focal point so you don't want him tracking back and you utilizing all his energy um, instead you want him in those sort of top positions pretty much coming off the last man as much as possible um, and then he can pick up the ball as he does drop off the last man as well so that is really it then guys for the tactic if you've got any questions at all as always get at me in the comment section and do let me know uh, as also with suggestions for the next tactic as well um, as i mentioned at the start of the video please go and check out my second channel and check out the video where i do give my england squad for the upcoming euro 2021 tournament i really do appreciate that make sure to subscribe to it as well as also make sure to subscribe to this channel as well and ring the bell so that you get notifications every time i upload if you've enjoyed the video please do leave a like and also give me a follow on twitter as well the link to that is in the description and i know we are going to finish it off there thank you so much for watching and until next time i will see you soon Come on.